Let's do EKGs. Our goals were to acquire the EKGs easily and at less cost. It has to be easy enough for our nurses to do, and we wanted to review them remotely or from the hospital. We used workstations in the exam rooms or tablets that we can carry around. You need to create a lab item. We named ours EKG Midmark. Once that's done, the nurse makes the EKG and it's saved in the chart. First, let's create the item. We'll go to Labs. We'll make a new lab item by clicking New. Type in the word EKG. This one says EKG2. We'll click OK. Then we'll search for that item that we just created. We'll double click on it to edit it. And we'll tell it that it's a mid-mark item, electrocardiogram, and that it's in-house. We'll now add the CPT codes to automatically bill for your EKG. That's a 93000, and we'll add the electrodes. Uh, we do bill for the electrodes, and we get paid for it by the insurance companies. So we'll click OK. We'll now bill those items for us automatically. Let's see how we actually run the EKG. This is a patient's progress note. I'm just showing you sections because of patient privacy. This is an actual patient that we did an EKG on. We'll look up the EKG. We'll choose EKG Midmark. We're going to do it for chest pain. And we'll click OK. Now in the chart, you'll see under chest pain, lab, EKG Midmark. Let's double click that and you'll see the lab order screen. We'll click mid-mark. You have a choice of a new EKG or to review old ones. Let's create a new one. We've already hooked up the patient and we begin to see the EKG tracing. We're just seeing a fraction of the screen here and I'll scan around. These artifacts are due to the Camtasia Studio that I'm using to record. They're not actually on the screen. And we see all of the leads and all of the optional buttons at the bottom. Uh, once you've determined that the EKG looks good, there's no noise on it, uh, you've got good quality, uh, you can click Analyze. So let's go back over there to Analyze. And we'll click the Analyze button right there. It takes a second, does the analysis, and pops up with the EKG in a traditional 12-lead format with a rhythm strip at the bottom. There's an interpretation at the top. Uh, the interpretations are usually pretty good. Uh, gives us the statistical data uh, on this and once we're satisfied with it we can say who it's reviewed by and I'll type in my name there and then we can click Save. Uh, you can save this locally to a drive or you can save it to email it or you can save it to the system. I'll click on File here. This has the patient's name in it, so I'm not going to actually show you the file name. Okay, but we did save it. Now let's go back and see what it looks like. We can go back to the chart, as long as it's not locked. Go back to the Midmark order. Click on the Midmark button. Instead of starting a new EKG, we're going to look at the old one. Okay, and there it is. There's also some additional data you can show that I didn't... Uh, display for you here. Let's exit from here. There's other ways to look at the EKG. We can do that from the patient hub. L let's look at the midmark reports on the patient hub. Right there. Click on it. We'll drag this down into our window and you'll see that I've previously run an EKG on this patient. So let's compare the two of them. We now see the two uh, EKG is superimposed on each other in the left column. There's lead 1 and 2. You can see what the EKG looked like last year compared to this year. See if there's any uh, ischemic changes, etc. And we'll just drag down to look at the different leads. There's also a comparison of the interpretations from last year to this year in the uh, middle upper box. And then there are the rhythm strips you can look at different rhythm leads. Let's go ahead and try changing them. Uh, you can choose any of the 12 leads as the rhythm lead and compare the rhythm from last year to this year. You can compare up to, I believe, four EKGs simultaneously uh, using this system. Um, let's take a little look around to see what else is on there. Uh, there's various settings you can choose. Uh, let's look at a preview. This is what the printout will look if you were to print the, any of these to the laser printer. This is the comparison printout. There's also a similar printout if you want to print out just a plain 12 lead EKG. Thanks for watching again. This is William Biggs.